This week, 162 new salts were installed throughout the United States and Canada, bringing the total salt count to 63,029. BP Pulse added one, Flow added three, uh, Electrify America added one, ChargePoint added 34, EV Connect added seven, and the Rivian Adventure Network added one. Let's get into the data. First off, this one on the bottom of 20 stalls, which is the Logan Airport Giga Hub, is actually since been removed. I went to a file that I downloaded yesterday in order to get it populated in here. And shortly after I saw this, I got an email from BP Pulse indicating there's going to be a launch event with special pricing of 36 cents per kilowatt hour. So if you're in the area between the time of 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. on April 24th, there'll be refreshments and discounted charging rates at the Logan Gig Hub. Flow added three stations, all of them one stall. One in Ohio, another in Washington, Ohio is a little bit outside of their territory, but um, looks like they're expanding a little bit. Electrify America added one station in Utah. It is their Electrify America commercial build with the local utility, eight stalls at some kind of old train station or something. It looks like there's a locomotive the kids can play on. Here's ChargePoint. I couldn't really find a good picture of any of these stations, um, except over in Massachusetts, this Noria brand of convenience store seems to be making some progress, but they're not ChargePoint chargers. It's kind of odd. Let me show you what it looks like. So these Noria chargers look to be using ChargePoint as the back backend, um, but they have a different um, supplier of hardware. And uh, these have been popping up over Massachusetts quite a bit recently. So something to keep our eyes on. They look very nice. Here's EV Connect. There is one six stall in Zephyr Hills, Florida. I looked it up. I could not find the six stall station. There was a legacy uh, two stall station uh, near the city hall, but it looks like there's a new six stall station at the city hall. And uh, otherwise car dealerships. Here's Rivian. These are all rip and replaces, um, but they're plus one stations. I'm not sure which one that is. It could have been that one of these was offline and they took it out of the database and then they added it back when it finished. This Groveland, California is the Yosemite outpost that got a lot of publicity when it opened, having an attached facility. And otherwise, these are all existing stations that have been around for a year or two, getting upgraded hardware. Thanks for watching.